Hello folks, as some of you early subscribers may remember, I did a product review on the Reaper several years ago. I did not have the great results that I thought I was going to have as there was no support for the wings, uh, like a spar, which they include now, because one snapped and it crashed. Well, I put it all back together and this time used rear-facing camera, just like I did on the Raven. It was also made by the same company as the Reaper. And this is how I discovered the extreme uh, flutter with the rear-facing camera. You know, I like the perspective and the ability to analyze the control surfaces and not have to fly straight at myself to take any pictures. Selfies. <laughs> on airplanes, FPV is mostly clouds for me, so not as much fun for me to watch when I get home to see what it all looks like from above. But the landing was sure a surprise to me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna see if I can drop it in. I want to point out that no matter how I have the control set with maximum throw, since the radio is not programmable at all, it came with that radio, I could change it, yes. But I can't mix or do much with the rudder or try to make elevons. Well, I have to use a rudder to kick it over. It's tiny, uh, but it does. It's the only thing that will actually kick it over, and then I use the elevator to complete the turn. In this wind, it was a pretty good challenge, and uh, so on landing, note the steering in the nose also turns with the rudder, hence the surprise landing. Whoa! <laughs> nice brakes! <laughs> that wasn't exactly the smoothest landing there ever was. Well, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and I hope you enjoyed the flight. I hope you stay tuned because here's what's coming next.